Welcome, Cancer and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition, bringing you a general love reading for April 27th through May 3rd, 2020. Please always keep in mind, however, time is fluid. So whenever you view this, it could represent a past, a present, or a future situation for you. If it does not resonate for you, and even if it does, I also suggest please checking out your moon rising and your Venus sign for additional messages and guidance. Um, Cancer, I'm going to read your energy here, your persons here, but since this is general, it can be flipped or reversed. Starting here with the Three of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Uh, it's like, you know, wanting to come together with someone, wanting to celebrate. And it's like, maybe you've really been through it. Maybe it's taken all of your strength to kind of, you know, pick yourself back up, dust yourself off, move forward, put past situations behind you, you know. It just seems like it's taken you a lot. It's like, but you keep doing it. It's like every time there's an ending, there's a new beginning for you. We have the Ten of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. You know, maybe you've had your share of heartbreaks and pain and bad endings and betrayals and loss. Just a lot of grief, a lot of sadness, a lot of struggling. You know, it's like, but it's like every time there's an ending for you, you persevere, you push through, you start over, you rebuild. It's like you don't stay down for long. Nobody can keep you down. It's like you're going to keep going. You're not going to give up. You're going to keep fighting. You have that strength. It's like if something doesn't fulfill you in a relationship, in life in general, in a career, like whatever this is, you're going to you're going to separate yourself from it. You're going to you're going to push it away. You're going to put it in the back of your mind. You're going to walk away and move toward what makes you happy. Friendships, connections, love, soulmates. It's like if there's a situation that's no longer serving you, you're not happy, you're not fulfilled, you're going to go out in search of what's going to fulfill you. What is going to give you that happiness? What is going to bring you abundance? It's like you're going after that. We have the Eight of Cups here, Two of Cups here. It's like, you know what? You don't... You know, I want to say this. You know, people always say, Eight of Cups, you know, you're walking away because you're unhappy. You know, you don't have any love or emotion invested in the situation that you're leaving behind. That couldn't be further from the truth. You think about that, that is eight cups. What do cups represent? Emotions. Okay, love. And it's like so much time and energy went into accumulating those eight cups, building up those eight cups. It's hard to walk away from that, but you're doing it because you're not fulfilled. You want your ten of cups. You want to come together with someone or something that's going to bring you fulfillment. What's going to make you happy? Where is that for you? Moving towards that. It's like, the, it's... It's like you're fed up with being, you know, stepped on. You're fed up with being walked on. It's like, you know what? You're going to stand your ground. It's like, I feel like in friendships and relationships and career and everything else, it's like you are, you've been through it. And it's like, you're kind of standing up for yourself. You're holding yourself back. You're like, listen, you're sticking to it. You're stubborn. You're like, listen, I'm not going to allow anyone to manipulate or control me. I do feel for some of you, and again, this is general, so just some of you, you could actually be going through a divorce or separation yourself because you're unfulfilled, you're unhappy, you're tired of pain. You want a fresh start, a new beginning, maybe with someone else, maybe with a soulmate. It's like you, you're, you're stubborn. You're like, no, if there's an ex coming back into the picture, like, no, you're blocked off. I'm not opening my heart to you. I'm not letting you in. I've waited, I've stuck it out for X many years and I can't do it anymore. You know, I'm tired of being walked on. I wanna be with someone who's going to fill my cup, who's gonna share their cup with me, someone who's going to replenish me, who's gonna restore that balance in me, or I'm going out to find that happiness because I'm tired of waiting. I'm tired of sitting on the sidelines waiting for things to change, waiting to get what I deserve. It's like you're putting your foot down. And if it's in career, same thing. It's like, you know what, I'm not happy. I'm not gonna keep making these changes for anyone else. I'm going to do what I want to do. It's like, I'm tired of just not, I'm, it's like you're tired of being a doormat. It's like, no, I want to celebrate. I want to be happy. It's my turn. It is my turn. Good for you, cancer. It, it, it's your turn. Go get happy. Don't let anybody tell you or make you feel or pressure you do what you need to do. You're doing that. It's like, no matter how much shit's been thrown at you, you're standing out, you're dusting yourself off, you're pushing forward, you're rebuilding. Like even if you have to start from scratch, you're doing it. It's like you're closing one chapter of your life, you're opening a brand new one. You're walking away from things that no longer serve you and you've got luck on your side. Sagittarius energy here, a time to give rather than take. It's like, no, Virgo energy. It's like 
Give to yourself. Stop taking from your cup. Stop pouring your cup out to fill other people's and, f and take care of yourself first. Prioritize yourself. Put yourself ahead of anybody else. It's like, you know, your needs have to be met first. You can't keep, you know, giving a little bit of yourself to this person, fill this person's cup and this person's cup and this, and putting yourself on the back burner. That's not how it works. Because before you know it, you've got an empty cup and all these people over here are replenished, but you're not. Take care of yourself first. Prioritize what you need. There's nothing wrong with taking care of yourself. Now, for your person's energy here, I feel like this is a new person. I feel like this is a new person for a lot of you guys. Um, this is like the, this, like, if, for those of you who are getting out of a situation, and again, time's fluid. I mean, you could have got out of the situation five years ago and you're just now getting back out there or meeting someone who you feel happy, you know, connected to. It's like, it's time. We have Libra energy here. This person wants to make things right and fair with you. This person doesn't want to manipulate or control you. This person wants a new beginning with you. They want to help you. It's like it's taken all of your strength, uh, Leo energy here, to get yourself out of this dark place. You know, maybe you've kept a lot of things very hidden. You know, it's like you... <sighs> It's like you always kind of put yourself last. Can't just go be a Pisces energy. You always kind of put yourself last. But this person doesn't want you to do that. This person wants to make you happy. This person is someone that you respect and look up to. This person could work very hard. They could be very abundant. We also have four of staffs here, four of wands here. So you could be getting married to this person or have like a twin flame soulmate kind of connection with this person. But it's like they want to build a foundation with you. They've been manifesting you, calling you in, Virgo, Gemini, energy with the Magician, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, energy here with the Ace of Wands. They've been they've been manifesting this connection with you. They've been waiting for you to, to dust yourself up, pick yourself up to so the move forward with you because they want to give you what you deserve. This person wants to help you every step of the way. This person knows you've been through it. They want to help you get out of that place. They want to inspire you, okay? There's a strong attraction here as well. They want to build something with you. They think about the new, the possibilities with you. They want to move to a peaceful place with you. Now, they could be getting out of a divorce or something, or get out of a divorce, get out of a marriage, you know, going through a divorce themselves or leaving a, a commitment behind or something or uh, a job or something. You don't have to be committed in a relationship. You could be committed to work or uh, your location where you live. But it's like moving to a happier place, calmer, peaceful waters, you know, getting happiness, getting abundance. But I think this person wants to move towards you. It's like they want to make this commitment with you. They want to marry. They want to marry you. Like this, like this person wants to build a life with you. They want to take you from a dark place and move you to, you know, about where your happiness is. This person wants to give you what you've been lacking in your previous relationships or situations. They want to build something beautiful with you. You know, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here. They want to build. Something. It's like paint. I'm hearing that song, "Paint Me a Birmingham." Yeah, whatever i don't know why that's relevant but maybe it is for some of you guys i love that song but <clears throat> like whatever you want they're gonna paint it for you it's like whatever your vision whatever your dream tell me what it is and let me give you that it's like do you want somebody who comes home and kisses you on the cheek for the go to work you know do you want somebody who's gonna rub your feet and watch netflix with you do you want somebody who's gonna goof off with you at the grocery store Tell me what your fantasy. Do you want to live on a farm with 70 acres and, you know, or do you want a bunch of guinea pigs in a high-rise apartment? What is it that you want? I'm going to paint you that. I'm going to get, I'm going to give you your dreams. Do you want a golden retriever and six kids? Let's do it. Like, they want to paint this vision with you. They want to give you what you want. They want to create that life, build that with you. They want to make your dreams come true. This person's going to do anything in their power. They're not going to let anything stand in the way. If there's people in your life who have constantly kind of, if there's people in your life who have constantly kind of put you in this place, they're going to help you cut them out. They're going to close that door on their face. They're going to stand beside you and close these chapters with you. They're going to give to you and then take from you. They're going to replenish you. This person wants to make things fair with you. You've been deceived in the past, but you're choosing love. You're choosing happiness. Some of you could work with this person. Some of you... Um, it's like they may be seeking an official person or something, or you could see them as someone of authority or someone with power, especially with the, the Grand Duke here. We have Justice again here under the deck, more Libra energy. We also have the Strength card again under the deck. So strong Leo and Libra energy here. This, like I say, look at that. This person, they want to make things right. They want to bring you that balance. This person wants to give you this Ace of Cups. They want to give you this new beginning in love. They know you've been through it. You could be suffering or they, or this could be vice versa. But this person wants to bring you through it. This person wants to give you what you deserve. 
you know, you have to push out this negativity to allow this good energy to come in. All right, so this was your reading. Please let me know um, how you liked it in the comments. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.